my name is uh, Julio. I'm from Spain and uh, I'm a chef and uh, I'm here for a funny, uh, uh, I don't know, something that uh, you don't expect in life but in the end you something happened and most of the reason was uh, here my actually my fiance I'm rolling in the handbag I've been away for all so long been traveling around this countryside so far from my home I'm a million miles from your sweet smile but you're always on my mind don't you know Amazing guitar player, third time in Oisat. What are your impressions about that? Yeah, oh, it's great. I love, I love coming here. It's uh, yes, third time here, and uh, yeah, I always enjoy it. How did you meet each other? It was really funny because uh, it was in Malta. I went there for a practice in my uh, my profession. Uh, uh, chef in a hotel and uh, I met one friend of her and uh, one night just only hanging up drinking something relaxed uh, she came with uh, her friend and we started to speak and after that night we started to hang out uh, together one and another day and in the end happens. <laughs> it's not uh, something that you can explain. It's something ah, unnatural. Upoznali smo se na Malti, ja sam otišla tamo da radim, on je već ovaj, bio tamo uh, na praksi i pa, eto, upoznali smo se u jednom baru i kasnije smo nastavili da izlazimo zajedno i posle toga sam ja morala da se vratim u Srbiju, pošto sam mogla da ostanem samo tri meseca tamo. Međutim, kad sam tela da se vratim, nisam mogla ponovo da pređem granicu, pa je tu ispao problem, bla, 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 pa je onda on došao u Srbiju, pa smo malo tamo, malo vamo, čekali da ih istekne tri meseca, pa tri meseca seckali i ovaj, i eto, na kraju. How you decide to come to Srbije for the first time? When was that and what was the reason? It was a couple of years ago. What was the reason? Uh, it, it's always expanding boundaries uh, and borders, so I want to be able to take the music to lots of different countries and opportunities come up, people invite me over and, and I just I just go. <laughs> We've been together two months, but uh, at the time of six months we stayed more time separate than together, because uh, she wanted to come back in Serbia for visit family, renovate passport, blah blah. blah. And uh, when she tried to come back, she couldn't, and uh, we get that uh, that hard moment that uh, if we can keep together, it's gonna be for a long. If not, uh, it's gonna finish. But in the end, it was in the in the good way, and nothing. I how she couldn't come to Malta to visit us, uh, to me and friends. I decided to go in Serbia to visit here. Odakle se njemu rodila želja da dođe ovamo? Ajde, osim vašeg poznanstva, da li je nešto znao o našoj kulturi i tako nešto? Pa ne, nije ništa znao, jedino što je upoznao Srbe i video je koliko smo ludi i hteo je da dođe i ovde da proba našu hranu i naše pivo i da vidi kakve su sajt, sam tela da kažem, kakve su nam gradovi, sela i priroda i da vidi kako je to kad se ne živi na moru, kakav je Dunav i tako to. What did you think about Serbia before your first coming? What did you expect? I wasn't, I didn't really know because the whole Central European thing, I'm still, there's still places I haven't discovered yet. So you hear the names of places and you don't really know much about them and I just, I like, I'm into adventure and going to different places, so um, I don't really know much about it at all. But I still don't know a lot, but <laughs> I know I like coming here and 
meeting people and it's uh, very enjoyable. Yeah. You like to hang out with people from here? Yeah, oh yeah, I did last night as well. But <laughs> till four o'clock this morning, <laughs> I was hanging out. How you decided to come to Serbia? It was uh, actually one year and something ago and uh, Malta was my first travel outside the Spain and I was really afraid but I decided to come. I really wanted to see her, I really wanted to spend more time with her and also how my profession needs to see walls, see another kitchens, another food, another... I said, okay, I have to go. And uh, it was a flash in the moment and said, if I do, I do now, I don't, I'm not going to do after. And then direct, buy flights and uh, arrange everything for camp. say about our audience? Um, what, Novi Sayad in particular? Uh, oh, it's, it's, it's always been good. So, I seem to like what I do. So, so that's amazing. Bringing, bringing the Australian blues sort of thing to town. What was the first impression? It was funny because in Spain we have a totally different image than but really it's here. We still have that image from the war the 11 years ago and uh, it's not that it's too radical but you, uh, we think there that it's uh, a side that is still poor, that is still uh, not active, not cultural, not uh, that people is too close but uh, when I came here Really, I was uh, really surprised that uh, it was totally different. It was the people so open, people that you can speak with them, that uh, they uh, relation it with another easily than in Spain. Because I don't know. Obviously, there is two different uh, poles. Uh, there is people from the small villages that are going to be closer than uh, in the big cities and also language is hard to, to break that barrier, but in the end it really was good impression. Tell me something about your music beginnings. Uh, I started playing uh, when I was a kid. I was 12 years old back in, uh, where was I? In Wyala in South Australia. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, I, uh, my first concerts were like Chuck Berry and uh, and I first got into the Beatles and um, yeah, so I got it. I got in pretty early age, twelve years old. Did you try Serbian kitchen? Yeah. <laughs> food? What do you think about that? Uh, for me, it's uh, it's amazing. Yeah. It's something that uh, I wouldn't expect. I read about uh, this the food in these sites, and but obviously, there in Spain we don't uh, try. We try maybe the closest uh, some Turkish and some Greek food, but not Serbian Serbian, and it was really really good. Why is blues so much important for you? Um, I think it's because I, I was into the blues before I knew it was called the blues. The, the music I was listening to on the radio was, was always blues related. And, and uh, it's, before I knew, when I, when I was really young, you don't really sort of segregate the music. You, you just listen to what you like to listen to. So uh, then I found out what it was. And I got to see a, a blues band um, in Adelaide, and it just that, that kind of changed my life. Really, Chicago blues, 
type music and uh, yeah, it sold me. <laughs> what is the main difference between Serbian and the Spanish food? I think the the fresh here uh, cooks a lot. For him, for example, uh, meat. It's uh, really well done here in Spain. We use also some raw uh, meat, also vegetables. Here are or fermented or cooked. Then in Spain we use more uh, fresh vegetables. We use more the oil, and uh, always the the diet is totally different. Mediterranean diet is uh, totally different than here. It's I don't know something also. Changing Spain. Inside of Spain, I'm from Galicia. It's the northwest of Spain, and it's totally different than, for example, Mediterranean side. Mm -hmm. We also have uh, more uh, things that are similar with Serbian, like, for example, cod leeks, uh, uh, sarma. Also, we have different dishes that are not the same, obviously, but that can join, can match. A lot of uh, popular musicians said that you're amazing guitar player. Uh, what do you think about that? What are your impressions about their comments? Well, I, I just do what I love to do, you know. It's like, you dedicate your life to playing some sort of music. And, you know, it's, it's nice people like that, but I can, you know, there's always a lot, a lot to learn, and I, you know. Um, a lot to, uh, I, I see more things and then I go, I, I keep getting influenced by different, by different people all the time, so, you know, I'm just, I just do what I do. <laughs> What is the most interesting uh, place uh, in your hometown? What we should see there? In my hometown, I don't know. I think that uh, the fish market, that uh, it's really amazing because there you can see a lot of types of fish and also the smell. It's not like, for example, Mediterranean, that this, the smell of the water is plain. In Galicia, you have that smell that you can't explain with words, but you feel it. For example, when I was in Malta, I miss a lot the sea. I miss a lot, uh, and I had 200 meters far for me the sea, but it's totally different. That seagrass, that uh, color, it's much more uh, uh, big, the color in the fishes, here than in the river. And uh, that sight uh, reminds me of my childhood when I went with my grandparents to buy fish, or when I went in the beach for take clams from the sand and everything. And I don't know, for me, I think this is the main site in my home place. Da li ste išla kod njega već u Španiju? Ja sam, mi smo sad tamo živeli, sedam meseci, pa smo došli sada da vidimo moje malo, pa se opet vraćamo. I kakvi su tvoji utisci o Španiji i životu tamo? Priroda je prelepa, vazduh je čist, jako ja sam se tamo oporavila, prodisala, zdravo se hrani. We have a lot of problems, not only in the work, but also in the prices that are really high, salaries are medium, and the rights in the moment for a job or something are really short. Because it's not uh, good that you are working maybe, for example, in my case, I'm a chef and uh, in a restaurant minimum you have to work uh, 10 hours and uh, sometimes more. And uh, really you are only earning your salary for 8 hours. Sometimes you are going to work 8, sometimes you are going to work uh, 10, but there is days that uh, I work at 17 hours in, in Malta and they paid me. That happened in Spain and it's like, uh, okay, my friend, you work eight hours in the contract, but after I'm gonna work, uh, you are gonna work how much hours I want. It's not like uh, uh, I'm gonna pay you. What is the most important uh, in music? To practice or have a good emotion in that? Oh, it's a feel. It's um, discovering yourself in the music and not just copying somebody else. 
You know, a lot of people are good players, but they sound like somebody else, you know, like Stevie Ray Vaughan or Jimi Hendrix or whoever. You know, finding your own voice, your, your own identity in it is the most important thing. Yeah, we're, we're always chasing that. We, we, you can play like your influences too much um, without ever finding your own um, personality in the music. And that's, that's the hardest thing to do. I just fall make love to you. What do you think about uh, everyday living here and would you like to change something? I think uh, the only thing that I would change, it would change on me, uh, the possibility of speak more with, uh, with the people. But I wouldn't change that much things. Uh, maybe I would put some another beach, uh, sea and that's it. For me it would be really, really perfect site for, for living here. You have uh, people, you have uh, different sites, you have different uh, restaurants for uh, go every day. It's perfect. <laughs> to play uh, blues here and there, what is different uh, in those audiences? Um, I think it's pretty much the same with, with human beings all over the world. It's, um, I, lo I love coming over here. I mean, you're just playing to people. It's a, it's a minority music, really. You know, most people are into pop music or whatever. Um, and you find pockets of people all over the world that like roots type of music. So um, we all we all have a common thread in our in our souls, I guess. So it's not it's not really, it's it's different as in a location, but it's. It's not really, uh, music doesn't have any language boundaries or, or whatever, so you can communicate with people on, on that level and not, not have to know their language. Tell me something in Serbian language, how do you learn it? Uh, I, I, was, I started in Malta yeah. with, uh, with friends there, my work uh, mates. And simple things like uh, Zdravo, uh, Ciao Prate, things like that, and Pivo. But now Vanya is helping me to try to, to speak more, to know more things. Kako bi uporedila naše mentalitete i da li će ti biti lako da se uklopiš tamo? Pa, ovaj, slični smo po mentalitetu, nije mi bio problem da se uklopim, jedino je bio problem sa jazikom. Kad sam stigla tamo, nisam znala uopšte španski, to sad ljudi misle da je španski jako lak, zato što smo mi odrasli u španske serije, da, ali ovaj, uopšte nije i moja profesorica ceni da ću ja tečno pričati španski tek za tri godine. Ja ga sad učim oko tri meseca, međutim, one osnovne stvari sam savladala tek posle mesec i po dva. For example, ja se zovem Julio, ja sam Španat and, uh, <laughs> and uh, moja semlja je Spanija. Things like that, uh, that can let the people know me. I don't know that much things for now, I, some, I know some vegetables, uh, krastavac, uh, zelen uh, salata. Kupus, uh, paradajs, uh, pavlaka, paprika. Mogu da se sporazumem u radnji, mogu da pričam s ljudima da objasnim kad mi nešto treba i sve to, ali to je tek početak, da uh, nešto kompleksnije treba mnogo više vremena. Ljudi misle da je jednostavno, međutim nije. Ja sam mislila da znam španski kad sam došla tamo, međutim ovaj, kad sam čula kako pričaju, pogotovo kad brzo pričaju, nerazumljivo mi je i tako. How it sounds to you Serbian language? Is it tough language? Uh, 
It's not that much uh, tough. It's hard because I don't have that uh, some sounds that uh, is uh, in Spanish, but it's okay. For now, I have to adapt myself and uh, get that parts that are more difficult for me and uh, adapt to me. Kako se vas dvoje porozumijete na, na engleskom ili ovaj ti malo na španskom, on malo na srpskom? Kako pa izgleda? Pa ne, mi pričamo na engleskom konstantno zato što ovaj smo navikli, tako smo se si upoznali, ali ovaj ne kad se našalimo na španskom ili na srpskom, ali da ćemo pričati, ne, nećemo nikad pričati na srpskom ili na španskom zato što jednostavno meni nije prirodno da pričam do, do duše nije mi ni prirodno pričam engleski, ali uh, engleski slušam mnogo duže i učim ga duže i radim na engleskom, tako da je to ovaj mi je i lakše, a i njemu isto. Mislim on sad na srpskom teško da bi mogao da mi objasni šta hoće, lakše će na engleskom. Vi ste stranac i ja sam stranac takopte. Da li ste da li ste vi ruš? da ja sam kako ste odlično. A vi dobro sam. Hvala. Bravo. <laughs> Why blues isn't more popular than it is today? What do you think? Uh, a lot of it's media, uh, mainstream media, play, you know, it's television. Um, it's, uh, I mean, the blues is the roots of all modern music, but a lot of people aren't exposed to it. Um, I I don't know. It's uh, there's too many other things for people to do now as well. It's, so you have to discover it. You can't just uh, you don't hear it all the time. So you, you get bombarded with TV advertising or radio advertising or whatever. Um, there's some pretty bad music, sort of computer made. Stuff. You know, some of it's okay, but people need to hear more of, of the blues and live music. You gotta understand, you got the million dollar blues. Did you have a chance to listen to Serbian music? It's totally different that, uh, than our uh, music there, there in Spain. I also don't listen that much Serbian music, I just only some rap, like uh, Husi, but uh, not more. Just only sometimes the music that uh, my fiance's mom puts at home, and it's really funny. <laughs> it's really funny music. The track you could uh, learn a very good language. Yeah, yeah. I think so. <laughs> it will be good practice for yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> Could you be DJ and play something like that? Uh, what the the new the different? Nah, well, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean. I'd, I don't know really. I'd, I just want to play guitar and, and have fun, and that's what, that's what the whole thing's about. You know, it's enjoying yourself, playing music, and uh, making other people happy. It's, so I couldn't. I, mean, I see DJs and I just think, oh, what's that all about? But <laughs> some guy with a turntable on a on a stage. You know, it's like, stay home in your living room. What are your plans? Now I think uh, enjoy the time that we are going to spend here and after we are going to come back to Spain in Barcelona to try to start a new life there, try to find jobs, try to find an apartment for living, not in a short time but uh, watching in the future. Do you have a message for younger musicians how to become like you? Uh, what broke and <laughs> um, keep practicing, listen to lots of different music, uh, listen to the blues in particular, listen, to, go back to the roots of, of the music, go to Muddy Waters and go back to Robert Johnson and 
and Charlie Patton and Blind Lemon Jefferson and all those guys and Lightning Hopkins. Just keep going backwards to see whoever you like as a musician, read interviews and see who they like and then who they were influenced by. And you'll find it's all very cool. Živjeti u Španiji, a da li bi mogla da zamisliš da jednog dana živite zajedno ovde? Pa ne. Možda ne budemo čak ni u Španiji živjeli, možda budemo negde gde se bude pričao engleski jezik, da li to bila engleska ili malta, ali ovde ne. Zato što, u suštini zašto sam ja i otišla da ovde, zato što nisam bila sreća. I ja sam otišla da nađem svoju sreću, ja sam svoju sreću našla. E, da. What will be the main reason for you to come back to Serbia? I think that was the family first, after the food, because I really miss the food here. And I don't know, for disconnect a little bit from Spain, from all that side that I already know for a long time and for have that chill moment in the year. Cool, thank you.